Ooh, buddy. Guys, I have been waiting for this. This has been too long, okay? The domain has waited too long to make this video. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. You know what this is all about. We have finally got Halo Hero Series 13. And you may be looking at these two and you're thinking, that's not the whole of Series 13. Of course it's not. But these are the two figures we already had. If you saw my unboxing a while ago, I got hold of this Elite Warlord and Brute Chieftain. And you can tell how excited I am about this video because I basically just scrapped my entire intro. <laughs> this is exciting. So basically what happened a while ago was I got an amazing guy in America to hook me up with a full set of Halo Hero Series 13. But when they arrived, they were missing one of the figures, and we genuinely think UPS just thought, oh, that's a nice looking Spartan, and took it straight out. So I was waiting until I got the last Spartan in the mail before I did a full unboxing, because I didn't just want to half bake it, you know? I thought I'd do these two first because they are such a wonderful pair, but then I wanted to wait until we got the set. And we do today. It's the money shot. <laughs> there we go. One, two, Three, four, five. Now you may be thinking, five? But well, you've already got two there. You know me, I couldn't resist another elite warlord. <laughs> this thing is so good. You know me, I couldn't resist another brute chieftain. They're just so good. Look at them, they're incredible. So let's quickly tear those open because we already know what's inside these. I hope you're having a fantastic day today, everyone. It's quite amusing, actually, because just as the leaks were coming out for Halo Hero Series 14, this parcel arrived. Like, the same day. I woke up in the morning to Series 14 leaks, and then in about three hours' time, this package arrived with the rest of Halo Hero Series 14. 13, 14, 13. I'm getting confused. The Brute Chieftain, though, I love that banished red. It really pops. The gravity hammer has this electrified sort of yellow that pulses through it. Looks amazing. Then really, for a brute, so many different colors. My precious monkey boy is still intact. Monkey Chieftain, take it away. He's also got some really great spiked shoulders and wrists, like daggers on his hands. Uh, he's just, he's such a bulky figure. I absolutely love him. People have got mixed opinions of the new Halo heroes, mainly because they're not exactly, what would you say, iconic characters? Like the Brute Chieftain Elite Warlord, I'm sure they'll become iconic, but apart from that, we've got another Master Chief in Series 14 as well as Series 13, so it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but to be honest, I'm just giving Mega Bloks the benefit of the doubt. They must have had to scrap half of their library because Halo Infinite didn't come out in spring. Can you imagine how many sets they would have got ready for that launch? So it's, you know, I guess give them as much patience as, uh, as I can and just say, you know, this will all get figured out. Let's get that Elite Warlord open too. And if you want to check out my full opinions on the Elite Warlord and Brute Chieftain, you can on that video where I unpackage them actually outside my school by the ocean. It's quite a lovely video. And I'll also be doing a full review and comparing these to Series 12. So you got a lot of content on the way, fellas. Don't worry about it. This Elite Warlord though, I mean, I love the holes in the shoulders. I love how ridiculously big his helmet is. I mean, this is crazy. A proper Warlord's helmet. And then the fact that his neck has painted black, it changes halfway down where his, his like jumpsuit clearly starts. And then we love this old school energy sword, the most detailed old original energy sword we've ever got. This is such an iconic figure and I can't wait for just a load of them to be leading my banished forces. Two elite warlords and two chieftains. I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, I could have it another way. I could have three or four of them as many as possible. You can also see by the shadows of this, I'm recording this late at night. I couldn't wait. I wanted to get these figures open as quick as possible. I've been waiting so long. Ooh, buddy, look at that. Look at that, the Spartan Trailblazer. You're looking pretty good there, buddy. Wow, all those detailings, goodness me. He's got a really nice sort of electric brown visor. And then this orange is, uh, wow, that's really cool. They've got the orange of the bottom parts of the limbs matching this shoulder and then matching like a stripe of this shoulder. That perfectly blends all three of the colors. You can even see the silver in there. All three of the colors from the figure blended together. This Weapon looks amazing with the scope on it as well. I think it's almost definitely confirmed that you can customize your weapons in Halo Infinite, adding different scopes and bayonets, that kind of stuff. Look at that. Wow, there's such a nice wash on this figure. It's like actually dirty. I love it. Wow, this is fantastic. Look at this figure. Ha. <laughs> I'm very impressed with this trailblazer. And I guess, yeah, the blue Spartan is the one I wasn't that interested in, but I'm still excited about it. That trailblazer, yeah. 
That's a sweet figure, goodness me. I, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Also, the new Series 14 uh, figures, they seem to have names. Um, we don't know. One of them's called, like, Griffin. But we'll see. Maybe they are officially named figures. This is... The Master Chief. <laughs> I know, guys. I know the Master Chief is not exciting in Halo Heroes right now. Um, I sort of reiterate my points I made in the Wasp video. Folks need heroes, Chief. Like, kids want to get Chief, and they need Chief at affordable price points. I would not include him in so many Halo Heroes, but that's just me. I'm still not mad about this. I was never mad about this one. Am I mad about Series 14 having a Master Chief as well? I don't know. That's a lot of Master Chiefs. That's a lot of Master Chiefs, but, yeah, we'll just see what happens. This is, you know, now, this is unprecedented times. Infinite's just around the corner. It's set to maybe be the biggest game of the year. So we're just gonna have to see what happens. Maybe Mega Constructs will start pushing out some crazy products. Crazy products. I mean, still, you have that Trailblazer, the Chieftain, and the Elite Warlord. They are not bad, even if the Chief is a bit dull. And the last figure, yes, it is another Spartan Mark VII. Yes, we've had a lot of them. But you know what? This is Demarcation Media's mascot. <laughs> so you've gotta love it. Yeah, this is uh, actually a really sweet figure. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. That's that's, wow, look, oof, look at the details on that chest, boy. Look at those chest details. Goodness me, I see three or four colors there. Excellent. Then the silver belt is so metallic. It's actually a very different color from the normal silver we get. Look at that. Like, yeah, like, that's like a visor silver. Very different. Actually, a really standout belt. And he's he's so stocky. He's got this bulldog shotgun. It's nice to have another painted bulldog shotgun. We have had one painted bulldog shotgun before, but nice to have another. And then the silver-ish gray limbs are sweet. This dark blue, I'm all about that. It's a pretty sweet figure. Like, these are really sweet Spartans. Like, don't get me wrong. And they're far more detailed than you would get in a standard set. So, I mean, that is what Halo Heroes is all about. In Halo Heroes, we have always got figures that aren't named characters, like always fill. I would classify in this series as these three being the named figures, if you get what I mean. Like the Chieftain and Warlord being so iconic and then obviously the Chief. And then these two being like the filler Spartans. This Trailblazer might be my new favorite figure. This is epic. And uh, we don't just have one of each. <laughs> We got a few more too. Look at them. Woo, they're looking fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This was a quick video, guys. I just wanted to break these out today. It's late at night, so I'm gonna go edit a video. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. I'm gonna go edit a video even though it's late at night. I don't know. But I'm gonna go uh, do a little bit of work. And yeah, I just had to get these open. I had to get them in my hands and give my first opinions to you guys. I hope you enjoyed Mega Constructs Versus Episode 5. Premiered yesterday. I was really excited about it. I got a six day holiday this weekend. So I'm gonna be live streaming like crazy. Doing a lot of progress. So stay awesome out there. Stay safe. Thanks for supporting the channel. Full review of Halo Hero Series 13 versus Series 12 coming soon. Let me know in the comments down below which you your favorite figure from this set is there are so many to choose from and they are so epic and do you prefer series 12 over series 13 let me know and the trailblazer my new favorite bad boy he's <laughs> he's seriously cool is signing off <laughs> <laughs>